everybody, it's Eric from Mad A Productions. And uh, today I kind of wanted to do a uh, pickups video because I found some really cool stuff uh, lately, especially at some Goodwills. And especially today, I found some really rad stuff at Goodwill today, just some really obscure stuff. Uh, but first, I'll start with some stuff that I found on a previous uh, Goodwill trip that was earlier in the week that was pretty cool. Um, I, and this is just kind of to show you guys that you can still find stuff at Goodwill. I've, I found some stuff. So the first thing I found was a uh, e-reader for the Game Boy Advance. I didn't have one of these and now I do and this was only four dollars. They had this marked $3.99. Um, I'm pretty sure I haven't had a chance to test it yet because um, I don't have any cards. I need to get some e-reader cards but this was uh, one sweet find. And then also at the same Goodwill I found some games. I found uh, Ark the Lad, Twilight of the Spirits for the PlayStation 2. Um, I've never played this and I, I haven't had a chance to play this yet, but I like uh, I like RPGs and JRPGs and I've heard that other uh, games in the Ark the Lad series are good, so hopefully this one is good. Again, this was only $2.99, so that was a good deal. And then I found another game, kind of silly, but I found uh, Heretic and it's the shareware version on uh, CD for DOS, but I've been collecting these like, you know, weird, you know, a lot of them are shareware releases for DOS, the jewel case releases, I like these, and I didn't have Heretic yet, so I got this. And uh, there it is, shareware ID software Heretic. So this is pretty cool, I'm gonna uh, install this and play it through DOSBox, I think, later on tonight, because I haven't played Heretic in a long time. That's a great game, uh, if you like Wolfenstein 3D, um, Heretic's even better. I guess it's more it's more like Doom, but instead of like guns, it's like magical crossbows and it's wizard stuff. It's awesome. And then uh, last thing I found on that Goodwill trip, which was really cool, was um, oh the little subscription card fell out. I found some really old issues of uh, Nintendo Power, which was awesome. And these were two ninety nine each. They had this uh, Doctor Mario. This is volume eighteen. Really old issue. And. Uh, Love these. The only issue with this one is the posters, unfortunately, aren't in these. But uh, also, this one had a big tear in the back. But whatever, it's still cool. And uh, those guys are pretty rad. Uh, and then I had, then there was this issue, which was cool. Uh, gosh, he was even losing his hair back then. This was back when the Super Nintendo was out. This is another Nintendo Power, and he was already balding. I didn't realize that. So that's cool. Like WWF WrestleMania, Nintendo Power. I'm pretty pretty excited to have those. I like collecting and looking through um, old Nintendo Powers. And then also early in the week, I had to run uh, to Target, and I like to go uh, pick through the clearance section at Target. And I found um, this was on clearance because it was open box, so it was on clearance for 20 bucks. It's the Atari Flashback Portable, and uh, here it is right here. And it was complete. It, was, it had been open, but it had everything. It had the little the system, and it had the charging cable, and the... Uh, instruction manual and it's pretty easy to use and it's it's a it's a portable um atari 2600 which is pretty cool i've been playing with this quite a bit and and, and the screen is actually pretty decent and it's got a bunch of built-in games it's, how many games are built in here 60 built-in games and it's stuff like you know centipede missile command a lot of your classic stuff but it also has an sd card slot which is cool so you can put your own atari 2600 games on an SD card and play them, and I've done that too. I put some homebrew games on here and played them. This is a pretty decent system. I'll probably do a, a full video review of it. Definitely worth worth the money. Um, another store that I went to recently was uh, Zia Records, which is a local store, and they've got a vast retro gaming selection as well. And um, I found a bunch of Atari 2600 games. That's another system I'm actively collecting for. So I found uh, Joust. Did I say Atari 2600? Atari 7800. I am collecting for the Atari 2600 also, but uh, there we go. Atari 7800 games is what I found. Uh, Joust, which is cool. Didn't have that yet. That over there. And then I got uh, Dig Dug, which this is a really solid port of Dig Dug. I really enjoyed this one. And then I also found, um, I, I never even heard of this, Ace, Ace of Aces. I haven't even had a chance to try this yet, but... Um, it looks pretty cool based upon the uh, World War II plane on there, so that's cool. And I also like this, it's a 7800 game with a color label, so that's really cool. And then I found also both of the Donkey Kong games, Donkey Kong Jr. and uh, Donkey Kong on the Atari 7800. These are also really solid ports, and uh, I have a really cool arcade joystick play this with the Allen 9000, so if you haven't seen my video on that, check it out, it's a really super awesome 
uh, arcade stick for the uh, Atari 7800. Highly recommended. And then lastly, this is stuff that I found today. Now, my wife and I stopped at a Goodwill today and she, she found a bunch of stuff too, like home decor stuff. We found some pint glasses, which were really cool. Um, but then I started finding all kinds of like really obscure retro gaming stuff and I didn't even, I didn't pick up everything that I found because I, I didn't want to spend that much money, although this stuff was really cheap. But um, the first th thing that I found was this copy of Shanghai for the Tandy color computer, 128K. And this is, this is factory sealed. And they had it marked $7.99, but they're doing this weird thing at the local Goodwills now here with the color tags for different colors or different percents off. So uh, blue tags were half off. So I got this for half off of that. And that was a really good deal. It still got a little bit of a Radio Shack price tag on there. Um, and not only did I find this, but then lo and behold, I find a second sealed copy of it there as well, a couple spaces down on the same rack with some other software. So two factory sealed Tandy Color computer games. I was like, well holy shit, that's, that's cool. I don't usually find stuff like this at Goodwill anymore. That's pretty obscure. And so then I kind of kept digging, and this Goodwill's kind of interesting because it's actually called like home, or it's like Goodwill Home Design or something, and they actually sell some new furniture and stuff, but they have the other stuff that, that Goodwill has as well, and I, I guess people don't find it. So then I'm looking around, and the next thing I found was this really cool um, Mad Cat's Phaser light gun for the uh, Sony PlayStation and Sega Saturn. It's kind of cool, actually. There's like uh, two different, I'm going to do a video about this because it's cool. Um, the wire, the cable, it comes with two adapters, one for the Sega Saturn and one for the Sony PlayStation. So you just plug the appropriate one in and you can play games like Area 51 and stuff. Now, I have a bunch of uh, light gun games for the Sega Saturn. I've got Area 51, for example, but I've only got one light gun and I always want to play those two players. So now I've got, now I've got two. And this thing was, uh, it doesn't have any of the paperwork, but it's got the box, the gun, and like the plastic form thing that holds it in. And this was uh, four dollars, so another good find. I was pretty pleased with this. And then I started, you know, going around, and I decided to go over to the um, electronics section, and that's where I started to find some really crazy stuff. So I found, of all things, Turbo Graphics 16 games at Goodwill, which I've never found Turbo Graphics 16 games anymore. So uh, I found World Class uh, Baseball for the Turbo Graphics 16. Now this says $3.99, purple tags were 60% off, so I got a 60% off of this. But I didn't only find one copy of it. And I didn't only, only find two copies of it. I found four copies of World Class Baseball for the TurboGrafx-16, and they're all complete. $3.99 and 60% off though, so I, I picked these all up. Now I'm not gonna hoard these, I already have this game. Uh, but I'm going to be giving these away to people who collect for the TurboGrafx-16, you know, friends of mine that need copies of it, because it was just too good of a deal to pass up. And um, this is actually a decent baseball game, and it's, it's a decent TurboGrafx-16 game. Everybody should have it, so I'm not going to hoard these or anything. I'll be giving these away to people. But yeah, definitely cool. Four copies of the same TurboGrafx-16 game at Goodwill. That's bizarre. So I'm like, well, this is crazy. I'm finding all kinds of weird stuff. Now, also over where that was, they, there was stuff like, there was a, a, a cartridge for the TRS-80 that was like a personal finance cartridge. I didn't grab that because I, I didn't need it. Um, there was a power, su that power supply, an RF box thing for the Atari 5200. There was that over there. There was a bunch of Sony PSP accessories that were brand new, like cases and sun visor things and a whole bunch of PSP stuff brand new. And then uh, after a little bit more digging, I found a uh, factory sealed GameCom game, <laughs> Tiger Casino. This is kind of interesting. Again, purple tag, so 60% off of that $3.99. I'm like, well, that's weird. I'm gonna grab that. Um, I'm gonna see if uh, Mark from Classic Game Room <laughs> wants this because I know he he. I don't have a GameCom. I I found one a while back, but it it didn't work. Um, so, but this was just too crazy to pass up. But I've never seen the factory sealed GameCom game, so I grabbed that. And then again, you know, kind of, you know, picking around through things, looking through things. And then I found, once again, another sealed GameCom game, Jeopardy, but I, another weird situation. I didn't find one, I didn't find two. I found three sealed copies of Jeopardy for the GameCom. How weird is that? That's crazy. 
So, uh, the, and the really weird thing about these was these were in like a plastic bag thing hanging over where they have other little plastic bags with stuff hanging in it. And this was $5.99 with a blue tag. So it was $5.99 and then half off of that for all three of these copies together. So again, I'm gonna see if Mark from Classic Game Room wants one of these because I'm sure he can do an interesting video. I don't have a Gamecom, so I can't do anything with them. But definitely cool, I had to grab them. So that was crazy. And then at the end I decided I'm gonna go back and pick through the, the vinyl again because I hadn't done that. And a lot of times there's laser discs hidden in the vinyl, so I wanted to look for that. And uh, I found some other crazy stuff. Now these are vinyl, not laser discs. Oh, you know, this is one other thing I wanted to show off real quick. We had a garage sale, and uh, my mother-in-law brought some stuff over, and she had some comic books that she found, and this was one that I, I bought from her for a dollar. And this is this is one that I, I had this issue as a kid, so I don't I don't know if it's worth anything. I'm sure it's not, but. I can't wait to read through this again because I had this as a kid. And also in the back of the bag there was this like Marvel Comics Pizza Hut X-Men promo comic. So I'm pretty excited to pick through that as well. But anyways, back to that Goodwill trip. I, I forgot about the comic book. I found some vinyl and this is crazy. I found, um, this is the soundtrack to Batman, like the original Batman movie. But if you look on the back here, and these have the price tag on it still. or No, it's on the front. I don't know if you can see this, but it says... Uh, Lent for promotional use only. Any sale or unauthorized transfer is prohibited, blah, blah, blah. So it's like, it's there like stamps, like in Boston, gold print. It's like some sort of promo record. So I thought that was cool. And there was, then there was two of them. There's this, also this other one, Batman original motion picture scored by Danny Elfman. So this is a score and the same thing. It's got this promo record verbiage. And these were $1.29 each. I'm like, I'm gonna grab those. I don't know if they're worth anything, but I like Batman and I like cool vinyl too. So that was interesting. If anybody knows anything about, uh, you know, these kind of promo records, I'd love to know, you know, if this is worth anything or what it is. It's cool. I've never seen anything like that before. And then I found one more record that I was going to grab anyways when I saw what it was, because I'm a dork. But it's uh, Polka Party <laughs> by Weird Al on vinyl. But then I got to looking at it and I noticed... It's, it's autographed, it appears to be autographed. And I looked at, you know, pictures of Weird Al autographs in the internet, I, I'm pretty sure this is real. So I found an autographed Weird Al record for $1.29 at Goodwill. And then I got it home, I didn't notice this at Goodwill. But it also has some, what does this say? Uh, for promotion only, this one's hard to read. Promotion only, wear and reserve, or, oh, oh no. For promotion only, ownership reserved by CBS. Sale is unlawful. Well, Goodwill sold it, but it's like right there, like embossed in gold over the UPC. So this is like a Weird Al Yankovic, like promo record that's also autographed by him. So this is, I am super stoked to have this in my, I love Weird Al and we, like I said, like my wife and I like to collect interesting vinyl. So this is cool. So I just wanted to show this stuff off because I know a lot of people say they don't find stuff at Goodwill anymore, but I found all kinds of cool stuff in the last couple of days at Goodwill, and also at some stores too, at Target of all places, so... If you have the itch to go out retro game hunting or whatever, definitely go do it, because if you look hard enough, you go to the right places, you'll you'll find stuff. I'm starting to... I didn't find stuff for a while, but I'm finding stuff again. Oh, and then also interesting... Just, this is weird, but... We bought some pint glasses, and when you buy, like, glassware at Goodwill, they wrap it up in paper, so I got to looking at the two pint glasses, and the paper they used to wrap this in is from the January 1994 issue of Nuts and Bolts magazine. How around, like, I'm, I'm actually probably going to be honest with you, I'm probably going to put this in the bathroom and, <laughs> and read it. Because there's some interesting stuff in here about, like, Tesla and how to build your own AM radio. There's another, there was, like, two sheets of that. So just crazy shit at Goodwill the last couple of days. Really good, finding good stuff. So, again... If you look hard enough, if you keep going, if you're persistent, you will find stuff at like Goodwill and thrift stops, thrift stops, thrift shops, and uh, retro game stores and that kind of stuff. So I just kind of wanted to show that off. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. If you've got some time, there's going to be some links to some of my other videos at the end of this that I'm going to shamelessly promote. And uh, like I said, as always, thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching my video on some cool stuff I found at Goodwill. I kind of wanted to start doing more of these uh, vlog type videos, so let me know if you enjoyed it down in the comments below. And also, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and check out some of these other videos. And as always, thanks for watching.